After installing and starting the player, we will use it to install and run Ubuntu 20. We will select to install from disk or image and click continue. And either drag our ISO or we can click on use another disk or disk image. Select the ISO and click open. Continue to the next step. We can use the easy install method and just type in a password. Let's continue to the next step. The default settings is not enough to build Android open source project on our machine. We will need to modify most of these settings by clicking Customize Settings. We can rename the virtual machine to whatever name we want it to be. We can also place the virtual machine in an external USB drive. Otherwise, we will click on Save. Before we boot for the first time, we will need to change the virtual machine settings. We will first click on processors and memory. A couple of processor cores can be a bit slow to build the Android operating system but it is probably possible. I will assign all of my 8 cores to the build. With regards to memory, Google recommends to provide at least 16 GB of memory. But we will build with only 12. We will also click on Advanced Options and Enable Virtualization. This is to allow to boot the Android virtual machine inside the Ubuntu OS. Now we can click on Show All so we can go back to the Settings screen. We also need to increase the hard disk space for the virtual machine. Downloading the open source will take about 150 GB of space, and buildining the image will take another 150. So in total, we will need at least 350 GB of space to fully build the OS. It is recommended to always put as much as possible even if your internal hard drive does not have that much space. In the case where the OS runs out of room, you can always shut it down and move it to an external hard drive. Let's close the settings screen and press the play button to start the easy install. I will speed things up, but the process took me 7 minutes on one of the latest Macs. We should now log in with the new user. I will skip connecting my Google account but you might find it useful to do. I will skip settings up live patch, but again you might find it useful to do. It seems that there is an update to the OS. As long as we stay with version 20, it should be good to start the update. Restarting to finish the update. 